guys welcome back to my channel my name is Emily Jean if you guys are new here today we are finally back with another makeup Monday so happy makeup Monday if you guys have never watched one of my makeup videos it is what I started with here on YouTube I've been doing makeup for as long as I can remember and I love to teach you guys some of my favorite techniques I love to test out products I love to do tutorials all of that so today we are taking it back and we are doing a first impressions obviously you guys clicked on this video for a reason. We are doing a first impressions on two products actually today. This is kind of bougie, a little bit more pricey. I love to test stuff out of all price ranges. It's really interesting to see if a more expensive high-end brand will compare to something that you can find at the drugstore. So today we are testing Dior products. This is the Forever Skin Glow Foundation and then the Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I originally picked these up like so long ago and I've been waiting to do this video for so, so long. So thank you for being patient with me. So if you guys have any specific products or specific makeup video ideas that you want to see leave them in the comments down below i'm really really excited to try this out so obviously i have no makeup on right now we are going to be testing using both the products on camera today i'm going to wear it throughout the entire day um, but this is mainly just my first thoughts of using this product never used these before we're going to go through all the details and try it on today so if you guys want to see if this Dior foundation and concealer is EJB approved, then just keep watching. To start, I'm going to zoom you guys in just so we're a little bit more centered on my face and you guys can really see what's going on. Here we are. I'm going to, of course, clip my hair back just to keep it out of my face. And I love to, you know, see my whole face, especially when I'm working with face products and doing my makeup. I do not know how people do their makeup with their face, with their hair on their face. It's just like crazy to me. Of course, I have my coffee. We are like all pinked out today. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have not filmed a makeup video in so, so long. And I don't have any other excuses to tell you guys why I stop doing them all the time because every time I sit down to film one and finish one, it is like my favorite thing in the whole world. Makeup is just my pure happiness and I feel like it's really fallen off YouTube in general. So hopefully we can get back on the swing of things. Um, I feel like the makeup industry maybe is just not as exciting anymore because it's so saturated. But I think you just have to find the excitement nowadays and it's not just like given to us if that makes sense. So today we're finding the makeup excitement and leave a comment down below if you guys are a makeup lover like me because I think we can all agree that it's just something simple and pure in life that can make us feel confident or excited or just the process of doing it I know is a huge thing for me so um, I have my skincare on from earlier this morning, so my skin is like prepped in that way, I guess. But I am going to be doing a primer on one side of my face just to see the difference. This is a primer that I've been obsessed with lately. I don't think I've ever actually used it or talked about it on my channel. It's a new love of mine. And it is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It is exactly what it sounds like. It is very hydrating and it is very like grippy it's almost like a sticky foundation or a sticky primer which is going to help the foundation you put on top stick to it i've been so obsessed with this it almost feels like a little glue primer in a way and i love it so I'm applying this to just one side of my face. My rule with primer is kind of my rule with all makeup and skincare in general. I use it if I feel like I need it that day. There's so many different types of primers. So if I'm having acne, I may use something that's gonna help my acne. If I'm wearing something all day long, I may use this primer. If my pores are looking really big that day. I may use like a pore filling primer. It kind of just depends what you need. If my skin is feeling amazing, then sometimes just my skincare underneath acts as my primer and I don't use anything. So let's just get into the product because I am excited. Here is the packaging. I honestly don't know how new or old this is. I don't think this is like a super old product, but it's also not brand new. Put the price on the screen. I believe it's in the 50s or 60 range, I would assume. Obviously more bougie. So first pulling it out of the package, this is what it looks like. It is a beautiful glass skinny bottle with the silver Dior writing on it. 
Off the bat, I am a big Dior makeup lover. I would say out of most of the high-end designer brands that create makeup, I feel like Dior really does a really good job with it. So I kind of have high expectations for this going into it. I purchased the shade 25N. Just for reference, I usually always pick kind of the light to medium neutral undertone shade within any line. So this is like a medium skin tone and is kind of a neutral undertone, not too yellow, not too pink. Foundation says it's a 24 hour wear radiant perfection skin carrying foundation with sunscreen. So it does have an SPF of 35 in it and it says it's a lasting hydration foundation. So my expectations are this for it to be like a medium glowy hydrating full coverage foundation and with the protection of SPF this would be like a daily foundation for me. I'm going to shake it up and I'm going to pump some on the back of my hand. We are going to be applying with a beauty sponge like regular today because it's how I apply all my foundations. It is very rare that I use a brush so just to kind of keep it in the same realm of things we're going to use a beauty blender. Three pumps on the back of my hand. I can already smell it. It smells like like very classic makeup smell, which I kind of love. I'm gonna take my finger, dab in there, and then just dot it all over my face. This is the usual way I like to apply my foundation. And my skin, surprisingly, has been doing very, very well lately. I only had that one big breakout on the side of my cheek, and it's honestly only as bad as it is because I was picking at it. Okay, so I just literally apply it all over my face. Now I have my wet, damp beauty sponge. This is from Real Techniques. It's my favorite one ever. And I like to pick up the excess on the back of my hand first, up the flat side of the sponge. It kind of like preps the sponge in a weird way. And now I'm just going to blend out this foundation. So let's see how it goes. It's a very middle consistency. It's not super liquidy, but it's also not super thick. Blending out really easy right away. By the way, I have no beauty lights on today. It is just all my room lighting and I'm sitting in front of my window. So all natural lighting on my face. Wow, this is like gorgeous so far. Very skin-like, which is kind of what I was expecting because of the name, obviously. For my eyelids a little bit okay i zoomed you guys in even more to my face and you can see how smooth my skin is looking and that glow you see that natural glow and sheen on my skin that is totally coming from the foundation and honestly my skin was already feeling a little bit dry because my moisturizer from this morning had already sunken in. I do see the tiniest bit of difference with the primer side versus this side. I just feel like it's laying a little bit more even and it has that barrier underneath. So I would probably use this foundation with the primer on a normal day, but it is looking very, very good. I honestly thought that was gonna be too much product, but I felt like that was actually the a perfect amount. So I would say this is more of like a medium coverage and I did use almost three pumps of it, which is kind of a lot of product, but I love how this is looking so far. Just like, like I said, very natural, but more on the hydrating glowy side which is like the perfect foundation for right now here in Michigan. It's so cold out, but sunny. So I want like a good daily foundation that's gonna protect my skin, but also something hydrating because it is just like sucking the moisture out of my skin here. This looks really, really good. I'm gonna try and do a little bit of a second layer over on this cheek here just because of my breakout. So I'm gonna pump a little bit more. Also, I do have to mention that the like lid on this and the weight of it just feels really luxurious and expensive, of course. That's always one of the main things you're paying for when you buy an expensive product is the packaging. So if you're someone who appreciates that, then I think it's always worth it. But if you're someone who doesn't really care about nice packaging, it could be pointless for you always blend down the neck. Okay, that kind of covered up a little bit more. It's obviously like really dark because I have been messing with it. 
but oh my god I'm so excited for the concealer I hope the concealer goes on well and we can set this all into place but so far so good with the foundation now moving on to the concealer it is the same exact packaging just mini versions and I really love doing like a foundation and concealer combo I just think it's fun and I feel like brands obviously make their products to go together so it's nice to kind of test it out and it's just fun when they kind of match and stuff so I got the concealer in the shade 2n so it's just the tiniest bit lighter than the foundation this says some of the similar claims 24 hour wear Caring Full Coverage Creamy Concealer. Yeah, I don't think there's SPF in this, but it is, again, just a hydrating long wear concealer are the claims. So let's apply this. I'm going to apply it under my eye, which is the main area that we're going to test. I'm also going to apply it to any other high points of my face just to brighten it up and put it in the usual places. Ooh, the doe foot is huge. It's like a much larger kind of a different shape doe foot applicator. I did not realize that or I was not expecting that. So here's what it looks like up close. You can tell the top of the applicator of this doe foot is holding all of the product, which is kind of nice that it has like kind of a collecting area. Okay, I'm gonna apply it under my eyes. Ooh, very flexible wand. Kind of like bends and shapes to your face. Do in between the brows. I really need my brows done, so don't mind them, guys. It's been months. Cupid's bow. Chin. And then I am going to apply a little bit on my spot right there. Applied beautifully, and I really love the packaging and doe foot. Just feels really luxe and nice and large which i do enjoy in products now going in with the exact same sponge i'm now going to use the tip area of my sponge to blend out my concealer starting with the chin and i think i picked out like the perfect color matches as far as the foundation matches my tanned skin well and then the concealer is just a tiny bit lighter which is normally what i go for Fun fact and little tip is the longer you let the concealer sit on your face, it's almost kind of like becoming a little bit thicker. So that's why I blend out the highlighted areas first and then I'll blend out the under eyes because it lets the under eye sit a little longer to provide that extra coverage, which is definitely what we want under the eye. So now I'm going to blend out under there. It is blending out very, very easily. If I waited any longer, I think this would have dried out, but obviously you guys probably wouldn't be filming a video when you're doing your makeup, so you don't have to work too, too fast. I always take it up onto my lids. Wow, this is blending out beautifully, and the color is so brightening, and it has that same finish as the foundation. It is a very, very similar consistency and finish to the foundation, which I feel like isn't always the case when you use a concealer and foundation side by side. But you can see the finish under the eye is still giving me that very hydrated sheen. Now I'm going to blend this out very lightly to keep that coverage. Okay, now I'm just going to blend all around my face. This is super important to do just to make sure everything is really locked into place. I feel like this foundation almost has a little bit of a tackiness to it. Same with the concealer. Um, like my face definitely feels a little sticky right now, which I enjoy because I think that's telling me it is a 24 hour wear foundation. I like that little bit of grip in my products and then once we set it with powders and stuff it won't be sticky but that does give me a good sign in what I look for in a product okay you guys I know you guys can tell on camera how good this is truly truly looking and how easy that was to apply I am so far so pleasantly surprised by this let's set it down I think I'm gonna use my Cody airspun powder to set today just because I have not used this in a while. Again, with the same sponge, I'm going to dip in here, right into the powder. 
I dip in using the same side that I used to blend out my concealer and I pretty much just set all the areas that I applied concealer. So under the eyes, I just want to really press that powder in, not use too much. Press the lids. My lids tend to crease really fast on me, so setting those is definitely important. The concealer is creasing the tiniest bit, but I feel like that is with every concealer ever, but nothing like noticeably bad. And I'm also going to set my chin just around the mouth a little bit. Wow, that even set like beautifully. You can still see that sheen on my cheek. Okay, so here's what the foundation and concealer and powder is all looking like now. I feel like I've already explained myself well and showed you guys that I am very impressed with these products and definitely going to continually use them in my routine to see if I fall in love with them more and it may become my new routine. I'm not sure, but so far, so, so good. I am actually going to step off camera really quick and finish up the rest of today's makeup. Just quickly throw on some blush and brows and things like that. Then we can talk about our final thoughts and close off this video. So I will be right back. I'm gonna finish up my makeup. Okay guys, I am back with the rest of my makeup on. I just did a very classic everyday look. If you guys want to see an updated everyday makeup routine, then let me know because this is kind of what it looks like. I think I'm definitely going to be rotating my new Dior products into my routine because I am truly so obsessed with my makeup. I was on the phone with Kelly while I was finishing up my look and I was telling her all about it and like how good my makeup looks today. It's just one of those like good makeup days and I think I can give lots of credit over to this foundation and concealer. So highly recommend you guys should check it out if you guys have been looking for a new product to test out, try out, have some fun with or you're running low on your foundation whatever it is i highly recommend these overall all in all the packaging the formula the wear i'm obsessed with the only downside i guess is the price and the more expensive price tag but sometimes that is worth it in my book so that is up to you to judge but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup monday and this first impressions give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it and if you're not subscribed to my channel definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video and i will see you guys in my next video bye